educational background began at Marietta College in Marietta, Ohio. Then I got my degree in uh, political science and I went off to the University of Chicago for a master's in political science followed by a PhD in political science. During my time at the University of Chicago, uh, for my master's degree, I uh, focused on public administration and constitutional law. Uh, I, in those days we had to write a thesis. I wrote a thesis on a loyalty security program for federal employees, which was a program that began in, in the 1940s and, uh, and continued in a lively way through the 1950s, but in a sense part of it still remains. Uh, it was uh, coinciding with the, the McCarthy period and the Red Scare, the, those years which everybody was suspected of being a communist or a fellow traveler. And uh, the constitutional law um, with regard to uh, the rights of public employees uh, became a hot area of uh, jurisprudence. In terms of my own work, I tended to focus more on legal issues, constitutional law, to some extent administrative law, as well as public administration. Well, I've been teaching for about 40 years now, and uh, what I like best about teaching the subjects I teach is I uh, teach public administrators how to respect other people's rights and how not to violate the individual's constitutional rights, how to do their jobs within the framework of protecting individual rights and even human rights. My motivation, I suppose, comes from both the teaching, which I really enjoy a great deal, and the writing. For me, uh, writing is therapeutic to some extent. I've, got, I've written about 40 books and um, about 300 articles. And if I'm not writing something at some time, I'm probably not feeling too good. Washington, D.C. is a very dynamic place for a faculty like me who are interested in public affairs generally. Uh, being here, I've had an, uh, lots of opportunities to work with federal agencies on various kinds of projects. I've also had the opportunity twice to testify before the U.S. Senate, uh, one committee or another. And uh, that's a uh, sort of a nerve-wracking experience, but it's also very energizing. I, I think what I want my students to get out of my course most is a respect for the uh, Constitution and the constitutional rights of the people upon whom their jobs have an impact. Uh, public administration has a set of values that really don't respect uh, very much uh, constitutional values. Efficiency tends to conflict with due process. Uh, standardization tends to conflict with diversity. Uh, there's a sort of a low tolerance in hierarchies for freedom of speech. And what I'm trying to do in my courses, and I've had thousands of students by now, what I'm trying to do is to uh, ed educate the students so that they'll, uh, they'll be able to do their jobs well, but within the framework of respecting individual constitutional rights.